I got absolutely crushed on the 24.1 CrossFit open workout. I didn't even finish in the time cap, which absolutely sucks. Was not what my expectation was at all. But when I went, to be fair, I was nowhere close to my normal morning routine. My normal morning routine before I work out any day is I'll normally always ground, get morning sun, have some sort of a somewhat nutritional breakfast. I usually do pound some coffee, like I do I really enjoy coffee. So that was the only thing that was normal the day that I went and did it Friday. Um, I also do red light therapy. I like to use the vibration plate, take my dog for a walk, do a little bit of stretching and cold plunge. All of that before I usually go to my 9 a.m. workout. As far as the pre-workout goes, I normally take the Relight pre-workout, which they no longer have, but they're reformulating and it's coming back out is what I hear. And I'm super excited about that. So I've been experimenting with some different pre-workouts and I don't even wanna say the name of the one that I tried, but I tried one, it, was, it came in a can and it killed me, man. Like I felt like my heart rate was elevated before I started, like more so than it normally would be. And I just felt, I just felt way off. Like I did not feel good at all. So today I'm retesting, it's Monday. The cool thing about the open is you can redo the workout as many times as you want. And I'm gonna retest today. And I, my goal is to beat the time cap for sure. That's like my goal is to improve, but I'm gonna do my normal morning routine and document it because I'm curious if I just do my normal routine, same person, just three days later, can I improve on my score? Let's see. First thing is grounding. Now grounding, I don't know about you, but I just love it. I don't know, like it's something I have to do. I have to do this every day, no matter where I'm at in the world, get my bare feet on the grass, in the ground. There's a lot of really interesting scientific studies and benefits, and I'm not a doctor or a scientist or anybody who could give medical advice, but I'm an experimenter. I like to try new things and I like to see what works for me. I can tell you that when I put my bare feet on the ground, I almost feel like a shiver go up my back and I feel different, I feel connected. My wife feels the same way. My kids feel the same way. But when I get grounded every single day, I feel good. And when I don't, I don't. So I'm gonna to choose to stay grounded. I also like to get morning sun. Now the sun is like kind of hidden behind the clouds, which is even better because it's not so bright, but you can literally look. I'm not telling you to look at the sun, but I do. I can literally look at the sun, squint my eyes a little bit and get the actual sunlight into my eyes. And once again, tons of benefits from doing this. I'm just not a doctor and I'm not gonna try to explain it. I'm not Andrew Huberman. I just know that when I get morning sun, it energizes me, it moves me, it makes me feel awake, alert. So I'm getting morning sun before I do this workout. You go for a walk, girl? Let's go. And now I'm taking a little Goldie for a walk. I try to get like a thousand steps in the morning, which isn't a lot before I go do my exercise. It's not a lot. It's actually really easy to do that. Anything more than that's like the goal, but a thousand minimum before I get out of the house and go actually do my workout. Just gets things moving, gets things loosened up. One thing I think that's important to say is like, most people don't follow me or any of my social media accounts because I'm a really good looking like fitness influencer. I don't consider myself to be a fitness influencer. I like to just share practical things to help everyday people like me. <laughs> just stay a little bit ahead of the curve, you know? So I like to test out and experiment with different things that I see people talking about and see if it works for me. And that's why if you follow my story at all or subscribe to my channel, you see I share a lot of uh, my personal life. I got four kids. We have cheer and dance all the time. So it's just the way it is. Now I'm about an hour away from the workout and it's time to eat. So what I got is some Dave's Killer Bread. And these are some eggs from my chickens. My I have backyard chickens at the lake house. And a Redmond Real Salt. That's it. Oh, grass-fed butter. Lots of grass-fed butter. Love that. And then I got a little concoction here, which is a little bit of coffee with uh, some protein, good quality protein, some colostrum, and some collagen all mixed up. So that's my pre-workout meal. And um, now I'm going to kind of edit a little bit while I'm, while I'm eating. There's a lot of prep. I hope I don't suck. Now, create creatine gummies. Gotta have that create creatine gummy in my life. Yeah, I'm also doing laundry back here. Do you like that I share like my actual life? Like I don't actually clean up the house and stage everything. This is just me, poofy hair in the morning, eating creatine. Does this help? I don't know. 
like the whole point to these videos is to hopefully help and inspire other normal people that hey we don't have it all figured out i love these creatine gummies they're so good next thing we got to do we got to hydrate so i'm gonna throw some hydration in we're about 30 minutes prior workout so i'm gonna go ahead and throw some relight hydration in the old system you know let's throw some runway in there too i'm just like i'm just gonna throw it all in there we're gonna really really try to crush this workout now let's go out to this mess of a garage see this is what happens when you have kids so we're gonna plunge but first we're gonna get red this is my little red light therapy wall Huga Health makes my favorite red light therapy devices. Then we got the little vibration plate. And now I'm gonna get red for 10 minutes and then get cold and then I'm gonna go work out. So I don't know, sometimes when I'm filming these, I feel like these are goofy, super spontaneous, very random. But these videos seem to get like the most engagement from people. I think it's because it's just real. Like this is a very, as you can tell, unscripted. I'm just going through my morning routine and filming as I'm doing it and right now I'm vibrating. So if it's shaky, I'm sorry. But you know, hey, this is this is really what's happening. Like at Friday, I went and I did the open and I sucked and I was really sad about it. I haven't posted my score because I'm watching all my other friends like get sub 10 minutes and I'm not on their level. A lot of my friends are athletes and I'm not. Like just never really lived this life. So I'm really just trying to be the best I can be. And I know that that's not the same as their best. So I got to remember that. Like we're not all on the same level. But I'm gonna try to improve. Like that's the whole goal of this video. This whole video is to show that like, hey, your morning routine before you work out is going to affect how your workout goes, your outcome, I hope. I'm gonna post this video regardless. So hopefully I, hopefully I improve. <laughs> that's the goal, that's the goal. All right, so I'm gonna get red, then I'm gonna get cold, and then I'm gonna get ready, and I'm gonna go. And then we're gonna do the workout. Wish me luck. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's nice, that hits good. Memory serves the first attempt at this workout. Um, shoulders, chest, and lower back started to blow up. So it's uh, 21 dumbbell snatches with one arm, not alternating. Then 21 burpees where you're jumping laterally over the dumbbell. Then 21 on the other arm, then 21 burpees again. Then it's 15, one arm, 15 burpees, 15 the other arm, 15 burpees, then nine one arm, nine burpees, nine, and then end with nine burpees. So it's a lot of shoulder, it's a lot of pec, and it's a lot of movements in the lower back. So getting prepared for that by getting cold, I think is gonna be an advantage. I really think it's gonna help. That's one thing I didn't do the last time. Once again, I was super just kind of caught up in editing a video and next thing you know, I was like, oh shoot, I need to go. So I ended up going after just sitting down for a while. It was totally not good. and. Didn't have a good pre-workout, didn't have a good meal before. I feel good right now, I really do feel good. So do a little three minute plunge here and then uh, get dressed and go attack it. Go give it a try, go see if I can improve. <sighs> the real goal is to lower my core body temperature and get everything nice and cold so that way I'm not overheating during the workout. There's definitely an advantage. I have cold plunged before working out multiple times before. Joe Rogan talks about it. Andrew Huberman talks about it. A few other people have shared their experiences. I definitely feel like depending on the workout, if it's a if it's an endurance type workout, getting cold prior to it, like getting cold prior to a run, I feel really does make my run go a little bit smoother. I don't I don't heat up and I don't start sweating for a little while past the normal time I would sweat. Sorry. Talking when you're cold is kind of tough. All right, and there's three minutes. Let's go get ready. I am so stoked. I just checked in my bag. Cause I was like, man, I think I had one more and I had one more Relight pre-workout. Thank you Relight for saving the day. This is going to be a game changer for me. I know it, I, I hope, but I know it. So we got Relight and we got Ketone IQ. This is the pre-workout. We are ready. Let's go attack this thing. Here we go. Moment of truth. I don't know why I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know why. Seems like, you know, there's no reason to be nervous. You're only making a video showing how changing your morning routine can actually uh, improve your workout. And this is the ultimate test. Nothing to be nervous about.
didn't think I would, I don't think I would improve that much, but I improved by over two minutes, two minutes and five seconds and I finished. More of the story is your morning routine, the routine before you do any type of exercise absolutely counts. So just to recap what I did, I got up, I didn't pound a half of a pot of coffee like I typically do on, a, on an edit morning. I didn't sit on the couch and edit videos all morning. I got up, I got grounded, I got morning sun. I took some good supplements. I took my dog for a walk, I got moving. I did red light therapy. I did shake vibration therapy. I cold plunged and had my relight pre-workout before coming in, which is filled with nothing synthetic, no crap. So I really think all of that, like that's my normal morning routine that I used to do on a regular religious basis. But you know, life happens, work happens, and you got stuff to do. So it kind of threw me off on Friday where I didn't finish. And then today, Monday, changed my whole morning routine, went back to the basics, and I was able to finish the open in, uh, in 12 minutes and 55 seconds RX. So I'm stoked on that. I'm proud of that score. That's literally what I said this morning. I wanted to try to get between 12 and 13 minutes. I think that's what I said. I'll have to go back and replay the tapes. But man, make sure that you guys are fueled up. Make sure that you guys, before you do any kind of exercise, stretch, make sure you stretch, make sure you stretch before and after. That's another thing I didn't even really video doing, but I always do like my own little stretch before I work out, get things going. I like to do like a small 200, 400 meter, just a light jog, just to kind of loosen things up, get the joints moving. But feel really good about that. Super thankful if you watch this video all the way through. If you like videos like this, if you like these little small experiments, these spontaneous experiments, let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to try. You know, I do a lot of reviews. I review a lot of products. I review a lot of health and wellness products. But if there's anything you want me to try, I'm like a little scientist. I like to experiment with myself. So I'm down to try some things. So just let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, post any comments that you want to just to kind of encourage me along this journey. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day, guys. And God bless.